Wow. I. You can't think of the word? Well, I just can't decide if they really want all of this stuff. Um, but I guess that, I mean, I need to watch them <laughs> truthfully. The um, thing is, it's a sign that we both got to watch them. Yeah, because I just, I don't know how, how much or how little that they want. Um, let's go 4F. Or F. Okay, you keep looking up the you keep looking up the next ones. I'm gonna try to answer this question. Um, I'm gonna try and figure out what they want here. So go ahead and keep looking them up and and writing them down in the uh, in the chat there, and I'll uh, hopefully have a better answer for you for this. All right. Are you still wondering how to answer that question? Well, I think I know what they want now. Um, I don't know if if they. Let's see, let's see, so the the period is the energy level, but there's different levels. There's there's like letters they use. Um, I don't know though. I think we can just say energy level one. That we can just we actually just call it the we can call it energy level one for this first one. Okay. And then uh, this would be energy level six. What's the uh, symbol for zinc? Uh, Z-N, it's in period four. Uh, I don't know what its energy level is though. So, so it's gonna be energy level uh, four. Okay. So oxygen is O. Where is O? It's in group um six. So we, we have to hear for earlier. Two. So why don't we do this? Why don't we why don't we put the group that's in? And um it does say period though. That's yeah, it's that's why I, I think that's what it period it belongs to. Energy level, number of occupied shells. We'll see. I don't know if it'll take this. We'll we'll just we'll we'll find out later. Um, how about potassium? Potassium is kind of an odd one for its letter. Okay, potassium. Let's just search up. It. Okay, potassium is, okay, let me just check. Potassium is K. It is K, good. And K is in, um, over here in period four on the left. So we'll say energy level four. Okay, uh, group or family. So the groups are at the top. And uh, why do they go 16, 17, 18? So our, so the picture that I have is probably different than the picture, what they're referring to. Um, 
again, probably would be good to have this on here, but the, uh, the groups are, here are the groups. So here's what I'd like you to do. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the chat. All right. The, uh, um, give me the name of group one. Okay, let me just click this link really quick. Okay, group one, it says, uh, it says the alkali metals or the Al alkali metals, yes. Alkali metals or the, I can't pronounce these names, Luthinium family? Yeah, alkali is the more common one. So, what about group two? Okay, for group two, it says alkaline earth metals or. Good, good. Madam, I'm not going to bother. So 16. Wait, group 16? Okay. Yes. Let me just scroll down. 16. I, don't, I don't know why it uh, jumped. I'm not, okay, I'll just type this in chat because I can't pronounce it right. Oh, that's okay. I got him. I, the, yeah, it's a chance to see if you. How about 17? 17 is a laser to pronounce. Uh, halogens or halogens? Yeah. Sounds like you're saying hooligan. Halogens. And uh, the last one, and this is kind of where you need a little help here. These are called noble gases. Noble gases. Yeah. They must be fancy if they're called noble. Yeah. All right. Let's... Um... So what are some physical properties of the metals and where are they located on the periodic table? So that that's just a, you can just look that up. Um, tell me what you, what you see for that. Okay. Um, aren't metals on the periodic table usually like on the left of it, like most of the time? I yeah. So remember. we, I mean, we got you know we got um, I mean, there's a lot of ways to answer this. Um, so like, what is a metal that you know of on the periodic mm. table? Like, what's one you can say for sure is a metal, and I'll tell you where it is. Oh. Iron is iron even on the iron is FE. Yeah. yeah, iron is FE, and that is somewhere in here, which I can't find. He's 26. There it is. So there's a metal nickel is yeah, a no. metal, copper, zinc. So the metals are here. Yeah, that iron was the only one I could think of on the top of my head. <laughs> Any other ones that I should like? Well, so and, and this and so, but you're right though. These are metals. These are transition metals. You're right, and they uh, these other ones are metalloids. So there's the, the in betweens. I, I I was I figured you could you would get a straight like, um, when you search this on the internet, you would get sort of an exact answer like physical properties of metals and where are they located on the periodic table. Did you just straight search for this? No. Yeah, I would do that and see what you uh up with so you just want me to search of the first question like on google um that'll tell you the properties um and then you, they'll tell you where they're like you said they're located on the left yeah and so then i want you to put together Oh, sorry. You tell me. You tell me. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I want you to write a sentence basically that says, hey, the metals are on the left. Here are some properties and give me some of those properties. Like iron and all of that. Yeah. In a way, right? No, no, no. You don't have to look up iron, just, just metals in general. So, like, 
iron, copper, zinc, like what? No, just metals in general. Just what are some properties of metals? Oh, okay. What are some properties of metal? Oh, perfect. The first thing that pops up. <laughs> So here's what I found on Google. I just typed it in chat. Like I obviously changed the words up a little bit. So I. Yeah, that yeah. that does work. That does or doesn't work because I didn't hear you. Yeah, you can just say we'll just clean up here. The metals are are on the left side of the table, and some of the properties of metals are so on and so on. Okay. Same thing for the uh, number two here. Just do a quick search on that and see what you. Uh, what you come up with. It says here that a meta met, metalloid is an element that has properties that are intermediate between those metals and non-metals. Okay, that's that's good. That just means that they sort of share some, but not all. Like, okay, it says that the on the periodic table, the elements colored in yellow, which generally border the stair step line, are considered to be metalloids. Okay, so so this time you might give an example of those, um, since since it's kind of like, what does that mean? Staircase, they're talking about these down here, boron, silicon G. So maybe like sort of saying these, or you can use the word staircase. That would also be good. Yeah, is bronze an element? It is not. Oh, is it a type of metal? I don't know. Yeah, uh, it it it's a compound. It's, it's oh. several metals mixed together, which is. Oh, that's more, more common. We don't, it's, it's rare to find elements where there's just I mean, we one. Don't, yeah, it's, I mean, we don't have that happen very often. Mm -hmm, I see. This periodic table is interesting. My question is why are there three blank spaces in this periodic table? Uh, you know, this one isn't, isn't, uh, the most uh, accurate it, it's like one that we uh it's 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 just for this this purpose of what you're doing here it's not just for the school yeah they, they are they are there um Okay, here's what I typed in the chat. Okay. 
Okay, that, that's that's good. Um, the last one here, it says, what are some of the common properties of nonmetals and where are they located? You probably figure out they're located more to the right side of the periodic table. Um, and uh, you can look up some of the properties if you need. Okay. Okay, here's what I typed in the chat for question number three. All right, good. And what I like, uh, it looks like you're doing, a, you're kind of using the same format each time. Uh, that's good. This one feels a little bit more um, textbooky. Right. So let's let's maybe drop this last last part. Um, All right. But yeah, that looks good to me. Okay. Next question here. Predict the charge that each of these elements will acquire to achieve stability um it's a little bit odd so so na na is uh sodium it's right here in the first column it has the charge of plus one and so we almost want to say that plus one charge it wants to lose an electron even though it's positive mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so one of the things that would help, like let's say we were, I don't know why they're giving, oh, I just see they're just trying to make it more different. All right, so calcium. Where's calcium on the periodic table? It is right here in second group. It has a charge of plus two. It wants to lose two electrons. Okay, O. Let's go look at O. Isn't O oxygen? It is oxygen. It's over here. It want its charge is minus two. So from the other side, it's it's zero is the neon. First column on the right here is minus one, minus two, minus three. So it's minus two, which means it wants to gain two electrons. Got it. All right, so uh, let's see. Why don't you try, well, fluorine. Let's go look for fluorine. Where is fluorine on the periodic table? Okay, Um, I don't know, actually. I... Is it, does it start with an F? Is there like... So the way you, the way you do this is to do it, a Google search. To, right. They're not all, um, they're not all like the, where they just, where they're, oh yeah, you know, it's the first letter. Yeah, it's very obvious with um with so, a lot of them. Fluorine.
Okay, is it um is wait, it says here that the fluorine symbol is an F. We don't want to just assume that it's always the first letter. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna double check. Like gold, gold is AU and silver is AG. And that's that's doesn't make any sense. So it's important that you uh recognize that. Okay, so F is over here on the right. Yeah. And on the all the way to the right is zero charge. This is minus one charge. Okay. So minus one charge. Does it want to gain or lose an electron? Based on the previous ones we've been doing. Yeah. Which one? Does it gain or lose an electron? Let me see. I feel like it. Okay. You're just looking at the previous ones that we've done. That's the same. It's going to lose an electron. No, sorry, gain an electron. Which it's is negative. It? Yes. It doesn't make sense, but that, that is the that is what it is. All right. BR. BR now. So BR uh, will go down. Where is BR? There it is on the right. It's all it's like fluorine. It's got a minus one charge. It's basically a copy and paste of the previous one. Beryllium. Um, where is that on this chart? So you'll have to look up beryllium. All right, beryllium. Okay, aurelium is, wait. How do you spell that? Wait a second. Just... Let me go back up to it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, is it B-E? Yes. Okay, great. So did you look that up or did you just guess? I looked it up because okay. it would if if I didn't, I would have said it would be B R. Okay, so it's plus one, plus two. So it's it's in the plus two charge. So what so what is the right two. word? It loses. It wants two to lose two. Time. Yeah, it wants to lose two. Good. All right. All right. Name the element. How many protons and neutrons and electrons and a neutral atom? So let's start with the easy stuff here, which is, wow, this isn't going to work out well. This didn't format well. Okay. Know. Let's start with the name. Let's start with the name. All right. Then name the element him okay. Okay. Uh do you have the name for this? Is it oh yeah, I just searched up it it says it's lithium. Yes. Okay, so now we gotta figure out how to de to decode the uh to decode the um numbers. All right. All right. So the so the uh, um, let me let me copy. Um, right with you i'm just trying to get uh get the uh this up so that we can do it um so the number on the bottom is the number of protons yeah so this is lithium and it has three protons three protons and then the top number the top number is the number of electrons. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The um, the top number. No, that's not what this is. 
Oh, they, they, they make this confusing. Um, Science is complicated. All right. Uh, it, it's because I don't do this and I have no idea like which one is which. And there's like, you just, it's like you subtract to get one. And I don't, I don't want us to have the wrong thing here. Uh, we just need a quick example of this. Make this clear. Um, all right. 14.7. All right. Uh, protons and neutrons are the same. Okay. All right. So, All right, so the the it's a simple formula. The the um, number of protons is the number of electrons. We already know that. Um, the atomic number is the sum of the protons and the neutrons, which is the mass number. The mass number is the top number, which is weird. Um, Okay, so the top number, let's start with the bottom number. The bottom number tells you the number of protons and the number of electrons. So this is, the bottom number is three protons, three electrons, okay? And then the uh, protons is uh, the, um, which doesn't make sense here, because why, why would I have zero protons? But the, the top number tells you is the sum of the number of protons and neutrons, which I guess is zero. So the, the idea is that the bottom number tells you protons and electrons. The difference between the top and the bottom number tells you the number of neutrons. Mm -hmm. Let me just double check this. Actually, I, uh, I've got a better way to do this. Uh, so let's, yeah, it just, so it's just weird that it, it only has, uh, it only has, uh, it has zero neutrons. All right, what about, oh, you already said that's oxygen. So the bottom number is the number of protons. There's eight protons and there's always a matching number of electrons. The difference in the numbers in the top and the bottom is seven. 15 minus eight is seven. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So I want you to try five. Tell me the number of, or tell me the name, tell me the number of protons, the number of electrons, the number of neutrons. Okay. For number five, right? Yeah, for the number five here, sorry, the, the ones that's the same. We're going to, it's good to do all the ones that are like that. Okay, for now, so, okay, the element. So, okay, so B is boron. Okay, boron. boron. Yeah. Um. Okay, hold on. From what I can see, it's it's gonna have five protons. It's the bottom number. That's the yeah. same as the number of electrons. So it's gonna have like five neutrons because yep. ten minus five. Very good. So do the same thing for Fe. Ooh, okay. Fe is iron, obviously. It's going to have 26 protons and 25 electrons. Sorry, did I say 25? I meant 26. OK, and now 56 minus 26 is um, 30. Yeah. Right. Um... So AU198, this one's different. 
Okay. Can you really? tell me what AU is for? Uh, yeah. For. Uh, AU is gold. It's gold. Yeah. So this one is um, more difficult because uh, you you don't have all the numbers. Now, where is AU on the periodic table? It's um, down here at 79. Yes. Okay. So that tells you that it has, and I'm going to start copying and pasting and typing. I'm going to type. Let's see if I can do this correctly. All right, it has 79 protons. That's from the number on the periodic table. 79 electrons. Now you take 198 and subtract 79 to get the number of neutrons. Mm -hmm. So can you do that for us, please? Yeah. So wait, hold on. I have to um subtract um that a hundred and ninety-eight, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Just making sure. That's a hundred and nineteen. Okay, so the the recipe here is for the next one, for the H, what you have to do with the H is figure out its name. Okay. Figure out the number above the letter. Okay. So that's hydrogen. The number okay. is one. So, so that means that means there's one proton and one electron. Yes. And there's and then you, be two both. neutrons. You got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So do the uh, same thing for HG down here. All right. When it's cold, you want to hug. That's uh, that's how this chemistry professor told taught me how to remember HG a long time ago. Okay, HG is mercury. Mercury. It's gonna have eighty um, protons and electrons. Okay, but and the then you subtract. Minus 80, 118 neutrons. All right, so we're down to the last one there, K. K, 39. K, P, R, T. That's potassium. It's going to have 19 protons and electrons. but it's gonna have 20 neutrons. Good. All right, question 16. Find out a little more about isotope. Specifically explain what an unstable isotope might do. Uh, all right, so um, yeah, go ahead and just do a quick search on that. Um, what an unstable isotope might do. Can so if an isotope ha holds too many or too few neutrons to maintain its stability, the atom the atom will decay and produce radiation. Right, that's a good that's a good solid textbook definition. Could you just slightly rewrite that in your own words? Yeah. Okay, I shall try.
Here's what I wrote in the chat, trying to paraphrase it. All right, so let's just let's just be more direct here. Okay. We should say an unstable. What is an what does an unstable isotope have, or has? And you wrote it right here. Right. It has too many or too few uh, neutrons. Okay. Isn't it, wait, which element was the, doesn't one element have a lot of radiation? Like, don't they all, or just like, there was they can one all that potentially. I yeah. Didn't um, one scientist discover one with radiation? I think she did. Yeah. All right. So, oh, here, yeah. so here's the next thing I want you to do here. I'm going to, I want you to look up each of these and just type them in, in the, the chat. chat with commas between them so I can copy and paste. I know it's a little bit of busy work, but it's good for you to know these elements. That's what they're hoping that you will take away from this course, some of the knowledge of these. Oops, I was not done yet. This is this. Sucks. It's okay. It's okay. You can just that was a mistype. Yeah, I was typing out the elements first, so then it was going to be easier for me to do everything else. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now I can start.
Okay, there we go. Okay, let's take a look. Any I of them surprise you? Huh? Did any did any of these surprise you when you found out the name? I mean, a little bit. Not all of them, but just like maybe two of them. Okay. Right. Um. So it 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 used to be that they really emphasized like spelling, like you you uh uh not not I wasn't even commenting on you. It was um uh, like you would go to the class and take a quiz and you'd have to spell them correctly and. All right, so the valon, valence electrons, um, whoa, whoa, where did all of those go? That's weird. Huh. So that's not good. Um, could you, well, let me try, I can, I can probably fix this. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, right. what did I you don't say? know. Well, they all went away after, uh, it's, it's because of the formatting of this box. We love that. That's sarcasm, by the way, when I said we yeah. love that. All right. There we go. Okay. So what are valence electrons? Uh, these are the electrons in the outermost shell of the atom. They affect whether the atom wants to gain or lose electrons. So that's, I'm giving you that because we've already addressed it up here, way up here. So in the outer shell, there's an extra electron in sodium, and that's why it wants to lose an electron. In calcium, there's two, that's why it wants to lose two, and, and so on. Uh, like fluorine and oxygen, they want to gain, they want to add them, add them together. Uh, so that's why, um, that's why, that's how it affects the behavior of the atom. Basically, the atoms always want to become stable. And you, they can become stable the, if, if their shell is completely filled, kind of like a stomach. You feel a lot better when your stomach is, is full compared to empty. Okay. All right. So for next time, we can for sure finish this. Um, some of these you can find out on the internet. So like if you really were eager to finish this assignment up, I mean, I think another 10, 15 minutes you might be able to find all the uh, the answers to these, um, or we'll just do it next time. All, all right. right. Any uh, that'll 